Now, next lesson, next session is special lecture titled World Class Research Based Teaching, the experience of teaching at the School of Global Studies, what you can learn in the School of Global Studies at Tokyo University by Professor Fazal Tekizade Hesari. Professor Takizade, please. Uh, hello, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you very much. My name is Farha Tarizade Hesari. I'm an associate professor at the School of Global Studies. It's a pleasure to meet you today. So at our school, at the School of Global Studies, we have professors from different countries, from Japan and also from overseas, and providing lecturing uh, different courses. So it is a kind of a multidisciplinary school providing different courses from economics, finance, international relation, international politics, international law, English language, social science, and so on. So the courses are designed in a way to make it very interactive, provide a, a participatory learning process, we have different seminars that students can also share their learning, can present. So from beginning, I mean, even although this is an undergraduate school, but we practice uh, basic research, not only teaching, but also doing research and uh, teaching how to do research how to select a unique research topic, uh, research questions, objective, and then after that, how to write a good uh, research report or article, how to write introduction, how to do a literature review, how to write a conclusion, policy implications. This is what I and many of my fellow colleagues at our school are following and doing. So it means it is a kind of research oriented teaching. On the other hand, the courses, I mean, the lectures that we have are backed by uh, most recent research done by researchers who are, I mean, teaching professors or by other scholars. Another point that I would like to mention about our school is engagement with sustainability topics. So there are 17 goals, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, that set by the United Nations. So each of the professors at our school are teaching SDGs courses, because this is very important for the students to know more, first of all, a general big picture of SDGs, and secondly, going deeper and by detail, why SDGs are important and what are the impact of each of these SDGs on our life. Another point is that there are, we have uh, special lectures at our school. We usually invite distinguished scholars uh, from different countries, from um, top tier uh, universities from other countries to come to Japan or give a lecture online. That would be also interesting for the students because they can learn uh, scholars or the researches that have been done by scholars of other countries and they can benefit from their uh, research finding. So another point is that since this school from the name of it is Global Studies, School of Global Studies. So most courses have been designed with an international perspective for Japanese students to know about other countries and for international students to know about Japan and also learning from other countries. So because of that, in addition to these uh, international oriented courses, we have a course called global study tour that students jointly with their professor, they travel to different countries, to Europe, to Asia, to America, to Africa, 
to Middle East and so on, different countries. And they will meet students at those countries and also go to the society, learning about other countries' cultures. And that will help a lot to learn more. So it is kind of a field trip, a practical field trip that will help the students a lot. Another point that um, I need to stress on it is that courses are designed in a way to be um, practical that will help the students to learn for the future also and will help them a lot for the job hunting and finding a proper job whether in Japan or in other countries. So when I, mean, I talked with many students so they mentioned, they shared their own experiences with me that, for example, I didn't have information about this subject. And this subject, this topic that I learned in the class helped me to find my future career and helped me to understand that what I'm going to do in future. Before that, I didn't have clear idea. So as I have mentioned, uh, our school, not only our school, but also other schools of Tokai University have high engagement in sustainability topics because SDGs, sustainability topics are important. So uh, we have students uh, here today, uh, Peiao Feng. So um, I would like to hear your opinion. So several SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, such as SDG 7, Affordable and Clean Energy, um, are related to energy-related topic. So I would like to hear your opinion that why it is important that we shift from fossil fuels to more renewable energy and cleaner type of energy, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor. I think why it's important because um, the first thing is I think is the renewable energy is not just uh, something to do with us, but something to do with all humankind and the world. And especially, you know, the traditional fossil fuel, like you said, is getting smaller or smaller, the quantity of them, and also uh, more pollution has been created. So I think it's what damaged our living space and also our environment. So I think um, under these cir circumstances, it's very important to find out some alternative energy, just like you said, the renewable energy. Um, it is more cleaner. And besides that, I think it's it can reduce the cost of the developing and the utilization of the um, energy resources. Yeah. OK, thank you very much, Piao, for sharing your opinion, for expressing your opinion about this topic. So um, Yuki, as um, Stephen or Piao highlighted, uh, one of the importance of having more renewable energy and cleaner energy is because of the environmental issues, because environment. And when we are looking at SDG, several SDGs, such as Earth SDG 13, is completely and directly related to environment. I would like to hear from you that why conserving our Earth and environment is important. Thank you, Professor. Um, as the first reason, I think it is important for having quality life because we live in one one earth and the environment, especially natural resources, are limited. So if we don't conserve it, um, the life is getting worth, I think, and also it, it's not good for for us. So before we are in such a situation. We should review the ways of dealing with the environment and conserve it. And also, it is said that we can live for 100 years. That means um, the length of one generation is, is getting longer. So I think also it is um, essential for keeping to have quality life to not only in our generation, but also the future generation for a long time. Okay, thank you very much, Yuki. You highlighted very important point. Actually, development growth is important, but at the same time, quality of life and happiness 
shouldn't be devoted for development and for growth. So Sayori, I would like to hear from you. As mentioned by Yuki, quality of life is important, happiness is important. But another point which is more important than this is to bringing this quality to everyone, not only to a small um, share of the society, to a small portion, but also to everyone. How to bring inclusive uh, growth, how to achieve inclusive development, and it is directly and indirectly related to several SDGs, such as SDG 5, gender equality, or SDG 10, reduced inequality. Um, let me hear um, your opinion on it. Um, so, um, today's society is made of lots of people, mm -hmm. and like that means they have lots of um, different life backgrounds. And, um, you know, like two people are not same, like gender and like culture and beliefs. And so um, I think um, therefore the happiness of lots of people should be considered like not only um, women, of course, not only men and like people, um, people with like um, different um, ethic and like people from people with um, um, lots of like beliefs and yeah, lots of um, lots of things to be considered. And I think and I hope it is um, possible to um, solve these things on today's society. Yeah, thank you very much for highlighting these points. Yes, actually, achieving inclusive growth is very important uh, growth that benefit all parts of the society and not just a small portion okay thank you very much i think with this um, we reach to the end so next uh, i would like to invite uh, steven for kindly joining me here and sharing your own experiences um, from the course that you had at the School of Global Studies, including the course that you had with me. Uh, thank you, everyone, and thank you, for Professor, inviting me to here on the stage to sharing some of my experiences of my learning with the professor. Well, for me personally, I studied with the professor in my sophomore and the senior years and the courses such as the international economics and finance. And like the professor said, the environment and the energy, especially the renewable energy, which I think is very important for not only what we're living now, but in the future. And one of the best things uh, that I think I'm here is because that I think you can um, have plenty of chances to reach out to those topics, those hot topics, what are uh, happening in the world now in here. And for me, I didn't think about that or didn't think about that too much um, before I studied with the professor. But after studying with uh, him, after I took his courses, I realized that um, how important the uh, fate of our world uh, closely connected with the energy, especially the energy security and the renewable energy, like, they, like he said, and also um, during his courses, I also learned a lot about the structure of the energies, uh, the current structure energies and the future structure energies, and also um, the renewable energy stuff so like that. And also, I think uh, other things like uh, the English academic skills, um, including the writing and speaking skills, which I think is very helpful for me because I want to work work in the international um, companies related to the uh, energy in the future. So I think all the things that I get from his courses will help me to um, better fitting my future careers. So that's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peyao. Um, I'm glad that what you have learned at the class helped you to find your future. And I hope that you find a, a proper job in the future. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you.